and lose yourself in the director's work. Introducing Amazon Fire TV. <laughs> the obligatory fake swap of cameras. I tried. Listen, this thing's tiny. It's incredibly powerful. And it's unbelievably simple. It's the best place to watch the most popular TV shows and movies in the comfort of your own home. Okay, let's get right into it here. Fire TV has a quad-core processor. It's best in class for a product of this type. It also has a dedicated GPU of the kind usually found in high-end smartphones. And it processes 57 billion floating point operations per second. This is going to be important in a few minutes when I show you some of the features. The second performance bottleneck we saw was RAM. Fire TV has two gigs of RAM. That's two to four times more than these other products on the market now. And this is really important because applications start more quickly, video starts more quickly, and the user interface is smooth and easy to navigate so that the device disappears into the background. The third thing we saw in terms of our performance bottleneck was the network itself. Fire TV has dual band, dual antenna Wi-Fi with MIMO. This is state-of-the-art for a product like this. So that videos start streaming immediately. <coughs> Applications start downloading immediately and quickly. This thing really screamed. I can't wait for you guys to try it out. If you add it all up, Fire TV has three times the performance and power of Apple TV, of Roku 3, of Chromecast. This is a powerful device. It is thinner than a dime. Fits underneath your TV, behind your TV, seamlessly fades into the background. You can lose yourself in high-def content up to 1080p. It's got Dolby Digital Surround, sorry, Dolby Digital Plus Surround Sound out via either HDMI or via optical. The remote control that we developed is small, elegant, and very simple to use. It's got Bluetooth in it, which is a feature that for me, as I've been using Fire TV over the past few months, really makes it into a great experience because I no longer have to fumble around pointing my remote at a tiny area at the, begin at the um, front of my living room. I can click the remote from whatever position I happen to be in and Fire TV responds. And as you can see on the left-hand side, I can scroll from home to movies, to TV, to my watch list. I'm going to scroll back up here to movies and I'm going to pop over to the content on the right hand side. And you'll see that we're using big, beautiful images throughout Fire TV. The content isn't hidden behind an application that you have to muck your way through to get to the content you want to watch. It's front and center. Watch this. I'm going to fast scroll through this new release movies list. This is where the performance, the specs I talked about a little bit earlier, really come into play. Just like all Amazon devices, Fire TV comes pre-registered. So all your content, your watch list, movies and TV shows that you happen to own earlier is already there, ready and waiting for you. So you open the box, you plug it in, you turn it on, and away you go. Super simple startup experience. As you use it over time, we have a um, recently list here at the top of home. So all your content that you happen to be watching right now is only a couple of clicks away. This is what you do on Fire TV. John Melkovich. It pops up. 
I go straight to all the movies that John Malkovich is in. I can watch them. I can also scroll down here to add it to my watch list. It's that fast. By next month, we'll have thousands of games available for customers to play. <laughs> we wanted to make it easy for customers to play games. We give you a few different options. You can use the uh, Fire TV remote to play games. It's a great way to play. We've also created an app uh, that allows you to use the phones and tablets that you already own to play games. This, will be, uh, this one will be available next month. Some customers are going to play a lot of games, and they're going to play for many hours. They're going to want a dedicated game controller. To complete the game's experience on Fire TV, we built the Fire Game Controller. <laughs> This controller is comfortable and it's familiar. So if you've used a game controller in the past, you'll be able to pick it up and use it right away. For customers, it's available for $39.99. And it also comes with a thousand Amazon coins, allows you to load up uh, on some games to play. Uh, CJ's kind of built himself a cool little shaft. And it uh, turns out, you know, building things in Minecraft's a lot of fun. And blowing things up is kind of fun too. So uh, that doesn't get old for me. Um, okay, um, just remember this is all being played on this tiny little box. We couldn't have, we couldn't have uh, brought this game to Fire TV and it wouldn't have looked so beautiful without the specs that Peter talked about earlier. Five core processor, dedicated GPU, two gigs of RAM. And it's at the incredible price of $99. We're so excited to get this in the hands of customers, and it's shipping today.